two, and go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, your chest up, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch. Go back to a nice tempo. Take your, you know, a little bit of another 20 second break. Just got to give a little break. Girls, remember, you want your sternum over your pelvis. Keep your chest back, try to keep the blades pitched. See what I'm doing? Tuck your chin. I don't want your neck out like this. You don't need to put stress on your sternum. You guys got it? Say I if you understand. If you don't, we're going to increase our intensity level to a point. You're going to want to end in 10 minutes. So you guys understand? Say ah. Hi. Hi. Three, two, and back to the starting position. And go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Two and one. Back to tempo. Good. Keep your core nice and braced, meaning that the rib cage needs to be brought down into your pelvis gently. So just embrace your core. You want to relax just a little bit. Keep your chest up to the point where it's your sternum over your pelvis. Pinch your blades. And tuck in your chin. And just look at the ground. Okay? How are we doing? You got to be a little bit, guys? You sure? Okay. Remember, this is the only bike in the world. All right, just let you know. This is the only, you guys are riding, riding the incumbent cycle, the evolution cycle. Three, we're going into our positions. Three, two, and go. Come on, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's how it feels. Right. How we doing? Okay? Yep. Good. Keep your chest up, turn them over, and just go into a nice little, just go over a flat ground. Keep your core tight, don't even bounce them back and forth. Don't let that hip bounce back and forth. Just keep your core in brace like you're doing a deadlift. Okay, guys? And keep your, remember, just think about a string and get that torso nice and tall, okay? Good. Just keep your, I want you looking at the ground. Tuck your chin so you're nice and lined. I want your core in brace. And I want that sternum, which is and get over your chest, over top of your pelvis. Put a nice little crease in your legs. Let's just go for another, another minute. Keep them nice and tight. Chest up. You can start moving your hands. Why don't you relax? Why don't you sit your hands here, ladies? And just relax. Keep your chest up. How's this feel? Take a little pressure off your traps. Any trap pain? Ladies have trap pain on you. Good. Okay, good. Same cycle. We're on flat rounds right now. Think about a beautiful day. No worries right now. Get up tall. Get up in your incumbent position. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep that crease in our hip, right? All right, make sure those who have lower back pain keep that nice crease. I want you ladies to think about Kegel, too. So it starts to really bring a stability, seriously, and establishes a stability in your pelvis. Okay? It's the inner part of your, the most part of your uh, arm of your hips. So start keeping while you're driving, while you're riding, so it really stabilizes them that safety, okay? Switching positions. Ready? Three, two, and go. Come on. 
10 more. How are we doing? The good cardio? Who drank wine yesterday? Okay, good. Back to you two. We're going to bust it up a little bit, okay? Just want to clean this up. We're going to make 10 the other ladies have the wine too. I got it. I'm just playing. I got my lecture yesterday. What did you say? I got my lecture about my wine yesterday. All right, so. Let's cruise it a little bit. Don't lean back. I don't want this because it's only going to turn on your hamstring and potentially um, start to tilt your safety. Here's the disposition of the regular spin bike. Once you sit down on the regular spin bike, it turns on the hamstring. And whether you know it or not, it's starting to tilt that hip. And you're in flexion. The benefit of it is coming quite because you're in, a, you're, in a, you're in a vertical stance. So your lungs and not compress, and you're able to burn a larger percent of uh, expenditure, calories, because you can consume more oxygen and you can breathe only into your pelvic floor. There's not too many things you can say about a spin bike where you can sit down and you, can, and you can't keep it when you sit down and sit down. But when you're in this kind of position, standing tall, you can keep on the table that floor and keep your, and keep your back nice and straight. We're so sitting this bad boy up. Here's what we're doing next. We're going to go into a push-up. All right, so I'm going, to give you, I'm going to give you a couple of examples. I'm going to pinch my blade and go down, just like this. All right, so keep in mind, I'm going to make sure this is going to get the bone in your palms. Bone in the palms, guys, and just grip it. Now, don't go into a hyperextension, okay? Bone in the palms. I'm going to slowly bring it down and up. Oh, check out this stuff, guys. You got to put that couple of calories in here. You ready? Three, two, and go for ten. Nice and control. One, two, three. So I wanted to, that, that, that score is crooked. Keep you guys going. Put our arms up. How we doing? Did you do 10? Yeah. Huh? Wait. Oh. 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 Oh.